How's it going guys? This is Sean Young, also known as Supreme. Welcome to Adventures in Wholesaling Street Academy. On today's episode, guys, we're going to be talking about the script. And we're going to go over that a little bit and do a little bit of role playing. Well, I'm just going to read that actually to you and, and give you guys some tips on how to follow that script and, uh, you know, how to, to um, execute it to its best ability. There also will be a, a link for you to download the script, of course, um, in the description section or in the, in the tool section. So please feel free to download that um, so that you can follow along and make sure that you guys practice on this um, script on a daily basis. I want you to uh, practice and practice and practice until, until you can't practice anymore. Practice with family, friends. Practice if you don't have anyone to practice with. You know, say it to yourself. Record yourself with your phone and listen to how it sounds. You know, do what you have to do. Call people. Practice this script. You know, get on Craigslist, get on Zillow, uh, just go to the for sale by section. Don't even look at the information that they're selling. Just start calling numbers and, and go through this script just so that you can get yourself, um, you know, familiar, familiarized with it and, and become very comfortable um, with how you should deliver it. Because even though I'm going to give it to you in a script format, it's not um, pertinent or necessary that you follow it. Um, you know exactly each bullet point at you know as I've given it to you because the conversation will sound you know pretty mecha mechanical at that point not natural and what you want to do is, is definitely have rapport built you want to have a, a natural conversation with your sellers so so what you want to do is be able to implement any of these questions at any point in the conversation so that it makes sense so with that being said guys let's get started all right motivated seller and how to return the call you want to smile Obviously, like they say, smile and dial or somewhat, but, you know, just make sure that you guys are in a, a positive, upbeat, you know, mood because they, they can sense that over the telephone. Believe me or, you know, or don't believe me, but take my advice. Everything that I'm here to give you, give you guys is to, to lead you to success. Um, there's been a lot of trial and error that's already gone into a lot of these things. So I'm not t trying to get you guys to experiment on things. I'm trying to get you guys to do things that we know works. All right. So you want to be conversational with your prospects on the phone. Uh, that's why you don't want to make this sound mechanical and say, hey, my name is this. Do you have a house? No, it doesn't want to go like that. You want to say, hey, this is Sean. I was just getting back to you about the that you have available. Whatever that may be, house, lot, whatever. Sounds like I caught you in the middle of something. Is now a good time? So basically what you're saying is, is, Hey, did I catch you in the middle of something? Doesn't doesn't sound like a, you know you're free right now. You you want to sound like you're pulling back and giving resistance. You want them to say, oh no no no, uh, now is a good time. So when when you do get that confirmed, the next thing you want to go into is, so can you tell me a little bit about the property? And while they're talking to you, you, you want to be taking some notes here. You know, writing down some important points. Uh, you know, details that you know may be pertinent to you as far as negotiating is concerned when it comes to that point. After they get done talking, telling you about the property, you're going to say, wow, I mean, it sounds like a great property. Why would you consider selling it? Again, you're going to be listening and taking notes. Uh, during this point is where they would probably give up the motivation. They're going to tell you, hey, well, I'm selling it because my wife lost her job and, and you know, we're going to downsize and this is just too much of a house for us. It's, we're, we're ready to retire or, you know, whatever the case may be. They're going to usually tell you in this part here. So. Uh, the next thing you want to do is, well, what do you think the property is worth? And you want to ask it like that. You don't want to say, what are you selling it for? You want to ask it exactly as the, the, um, as the script says it. So you want to say, what do you think the property is worth? Then you're going to say, well, you know, how did you arrive at that number? Again, they're going to tell you, oh, well, you know, I, I added a, 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 a second, I added a fourth bedroom on it. You know, we, we finished the basement after we moved in. We, we built a pool in the backyard. Whatever the case is, they're going to definitely tell you I'm um, doing this section. So the next question you want to ask is, what kind of repairs would you say the house needs right now? Again, take notes, listen. Now, the next thing you want to ask is, what's owed against the property? And you, you can't be afraid to ask this question. Um, a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people who I've helped along the way, when they get to like this point, sometimes they're uncomfortable asking that and the, you know, they may try to bypass it. Don't. Uh, it's very important that we know if, if this house is paid off or if, there's, you know, if they owe anything. We, we just want to know these things. Not to mention, if they're not willing to tell you what's owed on it, nine times out of ten, that's a good indicator that they're not very motivated uh, to sell this property. All right? So um, after you get what's owed against the property, 
you want to ask this these next um, series of questions the way that I'm going to say it to you. And it's important that you kind of pause and say things the way that I'm going to say it to you. All right. If I could pay all cash and close quickly, what would be the best price that you would consider if all of the closing costs would be taken care of and there would be no real estate commissions to pay? Be quiet. They're going to respond. No matter what they say, you're going to say, uh-huh, $90,000, huh? And you want to sound disappointed. Is that the best you could do? Now, at this point, they're going to give you another answer. They're going to either drop the price down or they're going to say, yeah, that's the best I can do because of X, Y, and Z. Fine. Uh, but please do this, guys. This is going to help put more money in your pocket at the closing. Trust me. Don't be afraid to do this step. Don't get all the way down and not do this. Um, this is very important for your success, okay? All right, guys. So once you've... Um, you know, you, you've said that exactly how I said it, and you know, you've asked the second time. The next thing you want to do is, even if you have it already, you just want to say, may I have the address of that property so I can do just a little more research? And then I'll call you back in a little while. Would that be okay? Oh, sure, sure. You know, the address is 182 Main Street. All right. Well, what's the best way that I can contact you, Mr. Seller? Oh, you call me at the same number uh, that you called me on. All right, perfect. Now, do you have an email address so I can send you an offer, um, you know, once I run some numbers? Sure. My email address is whatever it may be. So you make sure you write down all that information, take good notes, and uh, prepare yourself to be able to come back to that seller with, solid, with a solid offer um, that makes sense based upon what you can provide as far as information is concerned, as far as comps in the area, meaning houses that have sold in that area that are similar to that house, um, you know, within a half mile range. Um, within the last 60, you know, 60 to 90 days or six months or so. Um, but, you know, those are some of the things that you kind of want to do to arm yourself and be prepared to be able to negotiate with this seller. But the script is very, very important, guys. Um, I don't want you to follow the script like you're a robot. So just get the questions down that you would need to, to pull from this conversation. Get it in your mind. Know it like the back of your hand so that you can implement these questions at any point in time during the conversation to make it be very smooth and conversational. All right, guys, for the next couple of days, I want you to practice, 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 and practice some more. This script is going to be crucial to your success, so don't let this pass by. Um, I know this may seem like something te uh, you know, tedious or maybe boring to do, hey, but mo making money is not boring, guys. So make sure that you do the things that are going to prepare you for the success that you guys have signed up to, um, to enjoy. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.